Hi there, I'm Chris and I'm here with one of our developers, Patrick. Hello. And in this video, we're going to take a look at a new feature called batching. So batching in, in limworks.net. If you want to let us know what batching is, first of all. Um, it's a, basically a way of splitting quantities of the same stock item into different batches so that we can allow you to have uh, prioritise the order in which they're sold and have multiple bin racks. Cool. All right then, uh, let's jump into Limworks and we'll have a look at an item that I've got. So I've got some smoothies here in Limworks and they're going to have different uh, sell-by dates, expiry dates. Yep. So I'm going to want to batch up one of my smoothies so I can say that the the ones that are going to expire the soonest are going to need to be dispatched first. Okay. Okay. So if I open up this item, what have I got to do to make a batch out of this? Well, you can see on the general tab towards the bottom, there is now the batch type drop down. Okay. Um, and there, there are two options: uh, order by sell by date and priority sequence. We'll talk about priority sequence a bit later. But if we click sell by date, because that's what these okay. require. If you have any existing stock, obviously you have to assign them to a batch now that you are um, saying they're batched items. So you enter in the batch number, which is generally provided by the manufacturer. Okay, so I probably, yeah, my supplier or manufacturer will have a batch ID, a batch number for that. Yes. Okay, so sell by date and expires, I can fill that in because I know my smoothies sell by then because I, we're going to run out of date then, so that gives me some time to, to sell the last ones off. Yes. Yeah. And status on here, we've got one, two, three, four of them. So available is basically you can you can sell the, the item now. Um, restricted means you don't want to sell any of this particular batch um, for any reason you choose. Um, damage is obviously if you're booking stock in and it's arrived from the supplier as damaged, you may want to record that within your system. And expired means you, you can't sell it anymore. Gone past the expiry date. Yes. Okay, and if it's any of those then, if it's not available, then I'm guessing the stock level isn't going to actually be used. So Correct. So once it, as soon as it becomes restricted... Um, so there's no way of selling an expired correct. item. Correct. Cool. So I'll sell that as available. Now, what has changed there? Well, when you have a batched item, you'll see on the end, the far right, there is now a batches tab. Okay. And that will list all the batches you have in your system for that particular stock item. Cool. Um, and as you can see here, we've got, see everything that I set up before, we've got the batch number available, uh, expires on, sell by, we've also got bin rack column there as well. So I can put a bin for this, for this batch, so this is where this batch is in my warehouse, Correct. for example. Yeah. Okay, so I could have another batch and that could be somewhere else in the warehouse? Absolutely, yeah. or the, uh, another, the same batch, and again, that can be in, in a different place. This okay. is kind of so I can, I can add another batch with the same batch number Absolutely. and have that just in a different different place in my warehouse. Correct. Okay, cool, and we've obviously got the level of how much is in this batch, so different batches will have different stock levels, Yep. and I guess that's the stock value. That's a unit cost. Right, okay, awesome. Okay, doke so now that I've got my batch in there, say I've got another one coming in, uh, maybe I've got 50 more, for example, that's going to come into the warehouse today. Um, do I have to come into here to add to that? You that certainly can if you want to, but the, the normal process within Linworks would be to use the stock in screen and go through that way. Okay, so I'll save that there then, and let's go, let's grab that SKU first, so I remember which one we're looking at. And let's go into stock in, and I'll search for that item. Okay, as you can see, we've found my item there, and I've got a batch number field in here. So is that where I put a new one? Correct, and you can see your, all the existing batches, which you already have for that stock item, will be recorded there, um, and you, you enter whatever it is, comes from the manufacturer, and uh, Okay, yeah, so I could add it to the existing batch, or I can just pop a new batch number in. Correct. Um, okay, and that's a similar screen to what we've just saw. So I can say, okay, this batch that's coming in, this amount, is going to expire later on. Um, so let's just go forward in time there. So it's gonna, it's gonna expire then. Yeah. Um, okay. So I can give this another bin rack as well. So maybe I'm not putting this in the same place as my existing batch. Correct. Um, so that's how many I'm booking in, and so my unit cost can change as well. Per batch. Okay. So I could say that this batch, for example, cost a little bit differently to to the batch that I already had. Correct. Um, I suppose that would help with reporting and things later on. Yes. Awesome, and I can change the status. So I'm yeah. Depending on how it arrives from the supplier. Yeah, I'm going to guess my supplier has, has shipped all these smoothies, and they're all available for sale. For sale, so I'm going to go available there. 
Okay, so I'm assuming if I had any purchase orders, I can mark them off of here on the screen as well. So yes, if you had a purchase order, so in the previous screen, the quantity would have been automatically filled from the purchase order, and it, it works the same as normal. Awesome, so if I just click book in, it'll book that in, it'll book it in as a new batch. Correct. Lovely. So next thing we want to look at is orders, because if I get an order for this item, which I should have, and this, I've got an order for that item there, how do I make sure that my pickers and packers are going to uh, know which batch to, to pick this from because I might have different batches all around the warehouse. They need to pick the one that's going to expire soonest. So the batch is assigned to an order when you either print a pick list, a uh, packing list, or an invoice. Right. Um, and it's only at that point where the batch is actually assigned. Okay, so at the moment there's no batch on this item, it's free of a batch, and then I print something. And then it will be assigned to that batch right. for this order. Okay, um, so how do I make sure when I print, say, a pick list that I'm going to actually see that batch information. It's all in template designer, so if we can go there. Okay. So I'll go in my pick list, but yes, I said we could do this on packing list and invoice as well. Correct. Um, and then on my. Okay. If I click there. So, awesome. so we've got, some, we've got the, yes. So we've got batch number, expires on, and sell by. So I can show all of those on my pick list. Correct. So my users, or my pick, pickers and packers, are going to know where to pick the item from, what batch. And it will also select the bin rack for the batch which has been assigned to the order. Right, okay, awesome. So I'll save that and we'll give it a go. So I will print a pick list. Lovely, so it's showing me my batch number. Let's just zoom in there. So it's showing me the right bin rack for that batch. So we know we're gonna be picking. So what if, for example, I had um, 10 of this smoothie in stock uh, five in one batch, five in another, and I get an order for seven. Will it split it up across the different batches? It will, yes, and uh, it will prioritise by the one which is going to expire for, or sell right. by first. Awesome, so it's going to pick the one that we need to pick first, fill that up, and then when that's done, it will move on to the next batch. Correct. Lovely, so let's get rid of that. One other thing I wanted to check is, can I make sure that when I um, when these orders have been, been picked and they're ready to be packed, I need to log which batch this item was actually picked from. So by default, when you process the order, um, it will assume you've chosen the right batch. Okay, makes um, sense. But if you can, in my inventory, you can force the packer to scan the, the, the batch which has been picked so that if someone picks the wrong batch, at least then you record what has been sent to the to the customer. Right, okay, so how do I do that? Uh, sorry, go to my inventory tab, cool. yeah. um, into the product details. Um, and next to the batch type drop down, okay. there is a tick box. Okay, so scan batch number when processing orders. So Absolutely. if I tick that, let's see how that works. Let's go back into my open orders and go and try and process this. Okay, so I've got two heads process. If I go and click process, it's gonna okay, it's gonna ask me to scan a batch number. That's right. Cool. So it's not actually making sure. It's not going to force me to pick from the only batch or the batch that was assigned. It's just logging the fact that I've. I picked from that batch. The way we thought about it is if yeah. you're trying to process an order, the most important thing is to get it out the door. And so if the picker has picked the wrong batch, you just need to record that fact. Right, okay. And then the stock levels will be deducted from the correct batch that we Absolutely. picked it from. There. Absolutely. Lovely, okay. Um, that's pretty much it then from start to finish on how this works with batching. But the other option we've got here is if you have an item that doesn't have a sell by <coughs> but we still want to split it up into batches and prioritize a certain batch. So maybe you'll want to have first in, first out for your stock, or maybe you'll just want to split it across uh, multiple bin racks. Okay. Um, again, we can go back to the My Inventory screen and choose a different item, perhaps. Uh, yeah, got a can of soup there. Let's have a look at that one. So if we go to batch type, if this time you sort of go for sell by date, we go for a priority sequence. Okay. So priority sequence is basically you are allowed to put in whatever sequence you want and you can ship it in whatever order you tell the system to. Right, so rather than Limworks trying to figure out which um, item is, which batch should be done first because of uh, expiry date, we actually just say I want this batch to go first, then this batch, then this Correct. batch. Correct. Okay, so I'll pop in a batch number, probably got that from my supplier. Um, so priority, what do I put in there? Um, it has to be a number, um, okay. and the lower the number, the higher the priority. Right, so if I stick, say we have one in there and say this is an available batch, yep. uh, go into my batches, I could add another one and give it a, okay, a batch number of two, so it's already picked out there. Yes, yes, it, it also fills that with the next priority, but obviously if you're not, if you know you have more stock coming in, you can change that number to whatever value you want. Okay, um, 
Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. So once again, that's all this is letting me doing, letting me do, is split up my stock items. So the same item, different quantities. Split that up into batches. Those batches can be prioritized. So I can say ship from this batch first, then this batch. And I can have things like different purchase prices, different bin rack codes on there as well. Absolutely. So that if you've got a warehouse where not everything is in the same place, I could have one item in one part of my warehouse, one item in another part, and Limwise is going to tell you which one to go to first. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, well, that's pretty much it for this video then. Um, if you've got any other questions, please get a hold of us on support. Um, if you've got any feature requests or things like that, or different things you'd like to see with batching, let us know at help.limworks as well. Um, and there'll be more guides and, and written guides and other videos online as well on limworks.com. Thank cool. you. Cheers. See you later.